really close. Meanwhile, somehow, Yap has managed to keep himself safe. He's still alive, he's still building Bombard Towers, and the king is gone somewhere. Probably over here, maybe. But anyway, Green just tearing away at the buildings, not really making any progress towards his target. Whereas Orange, going straight for that gate, goes straight for the gate. Gonna get in there, he's gonna go straight to that castle. I'm gonna try and pick that king as best as he can. This will be really, really close, I think. I mean, Green, if you notice this, this, this is coming in, he's gonna do his best to get out. But obviously, Paladins are very tanky under this arrow fire from the TCs and shit. And uh, obviously, they're gonna be able to take it down. Where's the, where's the challenge? Well, all the county units, all the camels, they're up in the north, and this army's kind of down in the south right here. Here. The castle though, the king has been ejected. The king has been ejected. Where has he been ejected to though? I always miss the king uh, being taken away. Like, where's he gone? He's just disappeared. Is he come down to here? No? Well, then I am at a loss. I have no idea where the king has disappeared to. Is it in the... No, it's not in the tower. Surely. Where's the king gone? Murder hole's coming in. Obviously, that's going to help a little bit if the tower stays up, uh, or the castle stays up, sorry. But yeah, Green's King just seems to have gone AWOL, disappeared. Orange still just fine with his king back here. The Elite Camel Arch is really doing no damage at all. Now, meanwhile, Sheep Slaughter roaming the map with his paladins. I'm wondering where he's going to go next. I mean, will he actually leave right alone? Or will he go and actually help out an ally, potentially? Who knows? Um, but yeah, Rustic Septum defending quite nicely here in the north. And uh, also, once again, Onus losing that castle and uh, being forced back. But it looks like Rustic Septum's onto him. Spies of Luke defending quite nicely here in the north. And uh, also, once again, Onus losing that castle and uh, being forced back. But it looks like Rusty Acceptum's onto him. Spies have located your king's position. The king out here on the left side of the map, completely unprotected. If he goes too far north, he runs into the castle of Rustic Septum. If he goes too far south, he runs headlong into the paladins of Rustic Septum. There is no escape for this king right now. The king is surely going to die. Surely, surely, no way. The king's just duking him. There's a paladin right here, though. Rustic Septum can chase him down, and he will chase him down. That king is doomed. He's trying to get through the wall. He tried to make a diversion and lock the gate, but the king, he's too fast. The paladin can't catch him. Oh, the king may just get away. One shot is not enough. He does not do a, a single shot kill. But the king, get it in the, get it in the TC. He gets it in the TC. And Rustic Septum doesn't take the king down. Onus lives to tell the tale once again as a horde of pikemen come in and this entire army of, of cavalry units is going to get focused down. Oh my goodness me, yeah. That king really can outrun the horse and I'm sure that king was faster than the Ethiopian one. It just doesn't make sense to me, but okay. Uh, yeah, sheep slaughter right now. I mean, this is the thing, right? Has he made peace with Yap or not? Like, let's see. Enemy. Yeah. Enemy. So these two in the north are still enemies. And uh, Sheep's Law, I don't know where his army's at right now, but he doesn't really seem to have a lot of army, does he? He's at 200 population. He apparently has 50 infantry units, and there they are, over on this left-hand side, in a really weird position. But honestly, right now, I'm thinking that Sheep's Law has got the edge. I feel like he may just have what it takes to win this game what it takes to win this game with this horde of throwing axemen he's gonna have no trouble cutting through these halves of yap especially since they have no armor but that would make a difference anyway they are doomed men they are doomed to die and once again onus moving that uh moving that king around being unpredictable as he, as unpredictable as he can i should say and uh moving him down to the south here where he'll wall him up and uh try and keep him as safe as he can. This is not looking good for him. He doesn't have a huge amount of uh, economy left. A lot of it's idle or running away. Yes. And once again, spies going to reveal the king's location. And spies in uh, Regicide are a lot cheaper. They don't do what normal spies do. If you research spies normally, um, it will reveal the whole map. It costs a lot of gold. If you 
do spies in regicide. It only costs, I think, 200 or 400 gold. I, it may be, I can't remember. It's 200 or 400, and it reveals the king location. So that's uh, basically what it does. But look at Sheep Slaughter right now. He's looking fantastically good. See what his paladins roaming around. In fact, he may even go for the king down here of Yap. And I don't know where y Yap's king is. Part of me thinks it's probably in a really bad position. <laughs> But uh, I think it may be around these Bombard Towers somewhere. I literally have no idea. Oh, there it is. It's in this castle. But uh, he's going to get raided a bit anyway. Uh, but I think uh, that uh, Sheep Slaughter has this advantage because he's just got so many castles up. It's going to be really difficult for anyone to break the space. And I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking he's got more than he's got. Just check. You are being looked after right here inside of the Portuguese Bombard Tower. Not that you're going to end up winning this game, but I mean, at least you're gonna, your king's going to survive a little bit longer, even without you being here, which is uh, which is sad. It brings a, a tear, a tear to my eye. Uh, yeah, of course, the Franks do get cheaper castles as well, and it's really weird for me because this doesn't look like the Franks. You know, it's not really the Frank art. Yeah, obviously, cheaper castles means more castles. You can do the maths. Um, yeah, anyway, over on this left-hand side, it's kind of like the steam's running out a little bit for these guys, but Rust Accept was making his move on this castle, and I think Onus may be making a little mistake here. You kind of don't want to back your king against the wall, or at the edge of the map, really, because it's essentially a wall, isn't it? Um, because then you're in a bit of trouble. If the king can't escape, and usually if you're in the corner, or against a wall, you can't escape. There's only one way you can escape, and that's out towards your enemy, usually. But Rush accepts and keeps making the same mistakes. He doesn't surround the castle. He doesn't surround it, and that just allows Green to run off a funny angle and run back to safety every time. He keeps doing this, and it works out pretty nicely for him. Right now, he's got a lot of food, so he's throwing down a bunch of stables. going to try and make some more hussar. But uh, obviously at this point, Rush accepts some 100% Albedir production pretty much. And those Hussar going to get put down very easily indeed. But once again, the king manages to escape. And uh, he's safe and sound for now in this TC. But uh, we'll see for how long. I, I think Orange feeling pretty comfortable. I think it's going to come down to Sheep Slaughter versus Rush accepts him on this one, to be honest with you. At this point, Sheep Slaughter is kind of just farming some points by trying to uh, kill these units of in flames and take the additional stone and stuff that's littered around the map and yeah yeah not going over kill at all it's just gonna wall those uh, villagers in so they can take that gold in peace without being raided by those pesky paladins yeah that's right you just sentence them to a prison sentence of eternal gold gathering. That's essentially what these villagers are now. They are prisoners of war uh, from his own civilization, which is quite intriguing. Uh, from his own civilization, which is quite intriguing. But oh goodness me, this can't be what I think it is. Onus making a move on the castle of Rustic Septum. But let's be honest here, he's got fucking bunch of hussars. That's not gonna happen, is it? It's, it's just not. It, these hussars are not gonna break this castle down. Not in a million years. You can send everything you've got at that castle. That castle will not go down to hussars. I'm, I'm almost certain. He's got masonry architecture to work. And maybe the castle will go down. I'm questioning everything right now, but not with the houses in here, surely. Not possible. I don't believe it. Thank you very much, uh, Nediel, for resubscribing seven months in a row. Much appreciated, man. Oh my god, if this actually works, if this actually works, this castle is losing health. I don't know, man. The hussars don't seem to be dying fast enough. Are you kidding me? If this actually works, I think Owenus needs to be crowned as King of Regicide because... You what? He's just surrounded his enemy's castle with Hussar. It doesn't give a crap. It does not give a damn. And now, Rush accepts him in panic mode, retreating back to his base. As the castle hits about, well, about, I don't know, 55% HP right now. Dropping, dropping, dropping. And he's now at ooh, nearly at 50%. Nearly. But more and more of these Alps coming in, I don't think he's got what it takes. It's just such a huge undertaking to bring this castle down. 
There's way too many helps here from Rush accepts them, and the steam is running out very quickly for Onus, but it was a great attempt. If Rush Exception didn't have masonry here, he would have been in a different situation altogether. That castle may have gone down, in fact, but no, the castle will stand tall. Taller than normally, but ta taller than usual, even, uh, for a change. Yeah, and that, yeah, that didn't work. Sadly, sadly, it was a nice try. Onus may have thrown away about 170 units there, but it's okay. He's sending more in, send more meat no, into the grinder. No, and his no, rustic, se rustic no, septums. No, no, economy. God, I can't speak. I'm tired. I get tired this time of the night. But wow, that spam is something else. It's something else indeed. Now, I don't know why Sheep Slaughter's let Yap rebuild, because now it's a real pain in the butt to get in there. There's too many Bombard Towers. That's going to be a nightmare. But thankfully, it doesn't seem like he's going to need to engage the Bombard Towers. Because Yap has left a very big hole in his defences. Um, yes, there's a lot of Bombard Towers here. But the King's here in this castle, so just over the side. No problem. Uh, that's going to be really difficult for him to take out. And I don't know. They should have just killed him while they could. Because there was no reason not to, I guess. This castle being repaired a little bit. Rush to accept him. A little bit of stone remaining. 2,500 HP on that castle. Sadly, didn't go down though, and you know, I really wish it had gone down. That would have made my day. Uh, I think now it's going to be uh, Rust accept him to quickly, quickly retaliate and uh, show him who's boss. Show him how it's done. If he was to throw everything he's got at that TC, it would have a much better chance of going down than uh, than what Onus tried. So we'll see. But I'm Rust accept him right now. Where's his military at? It's spread all over the map. He's got some the scout cavalry down here because of course the Teutons don't get light cavalry so they just end up with scouts with like ridiculous stats um and yeah a couple of trebs out here a few more halbs out on this right side this is where the military minimap comes really handy you can spot where your idols are like, you can see all these idols here you can see them spread out across the map and, and even this you would spot spot these two trebuchets these beautiful trebuchets that could be used to take down this town center where Onus' king is hiding, but instead they are used to take down the buildings, which Onus had. It makes no sense. <laughs> Siege workshop from Rustic Septum coming up inside of his economy, that was kind of weird. And I don't think Rustic Septum realized that uh, that the Teutons don't get light cavalry because he seems to be pretty committed to these scouts right here. He seems pretty committed to it, doesn't he? That's, that's a lot of scouts. You can't upgrade them. Good, good job, man. Good job. Better off sending those halbs forward. Yeah, there you go. Because uh, at least you know the halbs counter the the cavalry. Whereas the light cow the scouts just don't. They don't do anything. They just die. Meanwhile, sheep slaughter, farming some more points, killing off in flames' economy. Um, <laughs> just gonna just gonna get a few more kills to his name. Just to pad the stats a little bit. That's how you do it. And Onus right now laughing once more. I don't know, maybe he's laughing at the scouts. Maybe he's laughing at the siege workshop. I don't know. And Oh, he's laughing at that. Oh my god, no. What is going on? What is going on? Why is his king out there? What is he doing? I thought his king was safe and sound back here, but no. His king's out in the middle of the map. For what reason? Nobody knows. But down goes the king. The king is dead. Long live the king. And uh, Onus goes out of the game. What happened there, Onus? Get in the chat and let us know, because I need to know how your king ended up in that position when he was just in the TC. What's going on? This game, man. This game. And now it's frozen. Is it my stream? Is it me? No. Uh, Onus has dropped. That's fine. He will drop. We'll carry on. But, oh my goodness me. That king. How on earth... Did he end up out there? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> poor in flames in the chat there. Feeling pretty sad about his poor villagers being taken down. And now there's only three. Three gone, three remain. But yeah, but I mean, basically he was out of the game until they let him live. Which doesn't make sense to me. I am. I don't give people second chances like that. I, if, if, if I'm, if I'm going to be able to beat them, I beat them. I don't, don't beat it around the bush. I beat them. That's how I do it. But... Sometimes, yeah, uh, it turns out that scouts were indeed useful after all. Uh, Mr. Tiffs has quite rightly shown by Rustic Septum there. 
Clearly, it was all part of his master plan all along. He knew that Onus was going to release that king at some point, and he said to himself, you know what? Halbs aren't going to cut it. Halbs move too slowly, so I need to get some scouts out because they are clearly what I need in this moment, right now, to take down Onus as king. And he was right. He read the game like an open book, and now Rustic Septum needs to turn on Sheep Slaughter and uh, Yap. Uh, and I hope they do that soon because Sheep Slaughter is a beast. He's a behemoth right now, and I think in flames he was killing your villagers out here because he wanted that wood light. <clears throat> but anyway, where is the military of Sheep Slaughter? It's out here. A lot of throwing axemen, a few paladins, and he's ready to go. But I, I'm waiting for him to actually go, or maybe, maybe it's Yap now that's going, because it seems like he's attacking this building here, or he just attacked that building. <clears throat> so he's ready to move out. Got some hand cannons at the ready. Because as we all know, hand cannons are superior when it comes to fighting throwing axemen. I mean, come on. Ten hand cannons will tear through that army. Of course. Of course they will. <laughs> no, I think he's going to wait. I mean, obviously hand cannons are not good. Uh, in this situation, I mean, I would not go hand cannons as the Portuguese, really. Uh, he doesn't have a huge... Uh, he doesn't have a huge amount of options, to be honest, but hand cannons may be not the best idea. I mean, throwing axemen do reasonably badly against them, but paladins are so easy to, to counter them. So easy. The paladins will get in there and, and tear through that, no problem. <clears throat> yeah, my throat's getting a bit sore right now, and uh, I, I hope these guys get a move on and start attacking each other. That will be good. That will be very good. Looks like Rustic Septum may start up some trade here. Believe it or not, that's a market. I didn't notice, but uh, he's going to go and take that down. Um, yeah, uh, Portuguese hand cannons do get ballistics, that is true. But it's not really going to be that useful, I think. Um, we'll see. Hmm. Man. I'm going to rush my voice for a second. My lips are going a bit sore. That's not good. Okay, anyway. Like, nobody's willing to make the move here. The Cold War right now. Sheep Slaughter with his nuclear throwing axemen. Rustic Septum with his trebuchet submarines. Yap with his hand cannon ICBMs. Nobody willing to make the first move fear of mutually assured destruction and uh sheep slaughter this whole game very defensive and rustic septum here saying that they should both attack yap together kill him and then kill each other because that's obviously what has to happen there can be only one winner but uh, right now i'm wishing it was like the little fast forward button down here that we could just be like come on guys get on with it take each other out this is a game of war, not a game of peace. We don't do that. Anyway, like, like I say, Rustic Septum is moving those trebs out, and they've located the king. That's the first step. Find the king, and then make your move. And if they crush him from either sides, then that's going to be great. But obviously, Yap, in this, in this, all this time that they've just let him build these hundred bombard towers around his base. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's just given him this ch chance to pull it back. Sheep Slaughter's castle is going down very quickly here due to this huge number of bombard cannons coming out. And suddenly all these Fatorias actually make sense. Five, six Fatoria, five Fatoria. That's a lot of gold and lots of uh, Sorry, stone over time here. So, yeah, Sheep Slaughter's army needs more paladins right now. He's actually got quite a bit of resources, 5k gold to say the least, it's very good. And he's focusing down on these uh, bombard guns as fast as he can. He's probably going to clean up this army, I think. It really depends on how much damage his bombard towers do, and it's always hard to tell. And I may be completely wrong, and these hand cannons actually end up shredding it, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to be right. I think this army will get pretty much cleaned up, but so will sheep slaughters. I mean, he got absolutely decimated right there. His army was cut into 10 pieces and swiftly destroyed. And